Kia ora, I'm Nathan Penny. Dairy auction prices took a tumble at this week's dairy auction with overall and whole milk powder price prices both down by around 5%. Prices have now been effectively on the wane since March with whole milk powder prices for example down by around a quarter over that period. Now previously or at least until recent months dairy demand or global dairy demand had been resilient despite very high prices but demand now is clearly showing signs of weakness. Backing up that view, Fonterra has had to put back onto the auction sales platform a significant amount of product. And that suggests that previously contracted sales at very high prices have now fallen through. A key driver of the recent weak dairy demand has been a weak Chinese economy. Data out last week showed that the Chinese economy um, grew by just a miserly 0.4% in the June quarter compared to the June quarter last year. And that weakness has been off the back of COVID restrictions in China and their impact on or curtailing economic growth or activity. But we still um, think that from here the Chinese economy is going to grow by 5% over the year as a whole. And that's because eventually those COVID restrictions will ease and as government stimulus measures take hold. That also means that most of or the bulk of the, the, the growth this year is going to occur in the second half of the year. That's likely to give a boost to consumer demand in China and therefore boost dairy demand as well over coming months. Taking all that into account we still expect a relatively healthy or indeed a very healthy milk price this season. So therefore we're sticking with our milk price forecast of 925. However recent week dairy auction results now point to there being downside risks to that forecast. Talk to you next time. Ka kite anō.